swiggity swoody, I'm here for that booty. Hello and welcome to my channel. Well well, who do we have here? Why if it isn't Uncle Milner? Your sins have yet to be forgiven for the things you've done to Margaret and Maria, but letting bygones be bygones, now that you're an operator in Rhodes Island, let's see just how good you are in combat shall we? Milner is a guard from the Liberator archetype, it's been nearly a year since the first operator from this archetype was released, glad to see Hypergriff giving Tequila some company, though he probably isn't too happy to be with an old, bitter grump, Operators from this archetype are unable to do basic attacks and has zero block. As a trade-off, Milnar's attack increases gradually over 40 seconds when his skill is inactive, stacking up to 200%, this effect will be reset when his skill ends. Operators from this archetype tend to boast decent survivability through having good HP and defense stats along with some resistance, but has low base attack to compensate the archetype's trait, Milner has zero block for most of the time and will only block enemies when his skill is active, at Elite 2, he can block up to three enemies during his skill. Next up are Milnar's talents, his first talent gives him a decent attack buff when attacking. And if there are three or more enemies near him, the attack buff is increased slightly and Milner gains a small damage reduction. The main selling point of this talent is the attack buff it provides, though situations where there are three or more enemies near Milner during his skill activation is quite rare, especially if you're using his third skill, so you'll be stuck with the 10% attack buff most of the time. As for his second talent, Milner will take aggro when deployed. This means he is more likely to be attacked by ranged enemies, given the fact that Milner boasts decent survivability and is basically useless outside of his skill, Taking aggro can not only reduce the pressure on other operators but also make Milner actually contribute something when his skill is on cooldown. The talent also states that all Casimir's operators will reflect a small percentage of Milnar's attack as true damage when attacked, a decent talent to have. Moving on to his skills, Milnar's first skill makes his attacks deal increased damage and gives him additional defense. The attack scaling is decent and the additional defense buff also aids in Milnar's survivability, Though he is still susceptible to high arts damage, the main drawback of this skill is the lack of any range expansion. This means Milner is stuck with his weird base range for the entirety of the stage, which isn't ideal in harder stages. A decent starter skill for newer players, but you should probably consider using his other skills. Miner's second skill expands his attack range, makes his attacks deal more damage and hits enemies twice with every attack at the cost of a slower attack speed. The main selling point of this skill is its second part which states that if an enemy is defeated during the skill's duration, the attack buff from the archetype's trait will not reset, what's more, you can manually deactivate the skill at any time. This skill makes Milner an on-field damage dealer thanks to the decent damage his skill does along with his 3 block during his skill's activation, this skill boasts a relatively low SP cost as well, which allows for faster skill cycling, overall a decent skill. However, it doesn't offer anything unique and there are many operators out there who fulfills the same niche without the gimmicks the Liberator archetype has. Milnar's third skill gives him a big range expansion and the attack buff from his trait will be doubled upon the skill's activation, but will decrease every time an enemy is defeated. Milnar's attacks now deals high physical damage to up to 5 targets in range and all Casimir's operators in range now deals additional damage based on Milnar's attack as true damage. This is definitely Milnar's bread and butter skill. When activated, he can easily melt low to mid defense enemies and even take on boss enemies on his own. The amount of damage Milnar can dish out within the 28 seconds of his skill is ludicrous. It also pairs extremely well with attack buffs and debuffers. You might notice this skill bears an uncanny resemblance to Silver Ash's third skill and some of you might be wondering whether Milnar's addition into Arknight's nuke Silver Ash's relevancy into the ground, well, let's break it down shall we? But before we do that, if you think this guide is helpful, do give my channel a sub, thanks. For starters, Milnar with the 200% attack increase from his trait blows Silver Ash's skill right out of the water. Nearly doubling his total skill DPS, you might think that the attack down for every enemy killed in Milnar's third skill significantly impacts the skill's total damage. But in reality, the attack down barely does anything and you'll have to kill a lot of enemies to see a sizable decrease in damage. Secondly, 
Milnar's skill has significantly better downtime than Silver Ash's while having nearly the same uptime, on top of significantly better survivability and lower DP cost. It seems that Milner trumps Silver Ash in virtually everything. But there are some scenarios where Silver Ash is preferred. Firstly, Milnar's archetype prevents him from blocking any enemies outside of his skill and he doesn't do basic attack, making him basically useless off skill and a waste of a deployment slot. Secondly, Silver Ash's talents not only offers reduced redeployment time, but also reveals invisible enemies, paired with his third skill's expanded range. Silver Ash is able to reveal a large group of enemies. While these niches might not sound that useful on paper, the 10-second decrease in redeployment cooldown can easily make or break a high-risk CC run. Similarly, tags that grants invisibility to enemies have been appearing in recent CC events, thus ensuring Silver Ash's relevancy. Thirdly, Silver Ash's skill requires 15 SP to activate after deployment while Milnar's requires 22. This makes Silver Ash a more favorable operator for heli dropping. In a nutshell, Milner deals significantly more damage than Silver Ash while Silver Ash offers niches like Invisibility Reveal and Heladrop. Is this enough to give Silver Ash a fighting chance against Horse Uncle? The answer is not really, you'll be huffing on some serious copium at best. The main reason why Silver Ash's third skill was highly looked upon was its big damage and wide range, and here comes another operator who has the potential to do basically the same thing but with double the damage, sorry Silver Ash, seems like you've been power crept by an old grump reading a newspaper in the middle of battle. So, should you pull and build Milner? The answer is yes, Milner is an extremely strong operator to gotcha for and can trivialize most general content, you'll probably see him appearing in future guides as the core 6 star operator and in high risk CC clears, he's also a decent starter unit with his second skill, so newer players won't have to rush to build him, though it's highly recommended to E2 him as fast as possible. And that's about it for this guide, hope this was helpful in introducing Milner, I'll be making similar guides like these soon so do subscribe to stay tuned for more, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the comments, bye.